Okay, these results were surprising. Come along for a DEXA scan and VO2 max. I believe pain, mental health, physical fitness, and diet are all closely intertwined. When we are in a good mood or in a great shape, we feel better. For most of my life, I have really been into weightlifting and running, but this year I got so invested in my pain education journey and taking my board exams that I wasn't working out as much as I used to, and while I was still exercising, it was nowhere near what it was before. But now, I want to get into the best shape of my life. Here I'm undergoing the first part, a DEXA scan. DEXA stands for Dual Energy X-Ray Absorbed Geometry. Dual, meaning it uses two distinct X-ray beams, and different tissues of our body absorb these X-rays differently. This information can be used to discriminate between our body's lean mass, fat, and bone density. So in addition to helping us figure out if someone has osteoporosis and their risk of fracture, it can also tell us how much muscle we have and even our visceral fat. This is the fat that lies around the internal organs in our abdomen. This fat is important because it's associated with many serious health problems like diabetes, asthma, dementia, heart disease, and even some cancers. Next up is the resting metabolic rate testing. This is a test that will measure my expired air or my respiratory gases through this mouthpiece. So essentially, it measures how much oxygen I'm consuming and how much carbon dioxide I'm blowing out. This is indirect calorimetry measured through gas exchange and it gives me an idea of what my energy expenditure is at rest and in a way what it takes to keep Derek Davis alive while he's chilling in a chair. Here we have the big kahuna, VO2 max. VO2 max represents the maximum volume of oxygen your body can consume during exercise. It reflects how efficiently your heart and lungs work together and how well your muscles extract oxygen from the blood. Not only is it a helpful indicator of potential athletic performance, but more importantly, it is a super important marker for cardiovascular health and overall mortality. Results time, did I pass or will I be kicked off the island? First up is my body fat percentage. I made up of 30 pounds of fat. 18% fat is within a healthy range for my age and sex, but it's still hard to get over the idea of picturing 30 pounds of fat. Like how many Home Depot buckets does that fill up? Next up is my visceral fat. Healthy visceral fat ranges really depend upon the individual, but this fat usually makes up around 10% of your total fat. Fortunately, mine is at least below that, so I think I'm good. Now we're looking at my T-score. This score is set as a comparison of a young, healthy adult set at zero. So if your score is lower than zero, you have less dense bones. When this score becomes negative 2.5 or lower, you have osteoporosis. In between negative 1 and negative 2.5, you have osteopenia. For someone who is not a man age 50 or older or a postmenopausal woman, you should be looking at a Z-score for your bone mineral density. This will be set to compare you against your age match peers. My Z-score was 1.6. Quickly, I wanted to mention that you can also get your fat-free and appendicular lean mass indices from a DEXA. Next up is my resting metabolic rate. At rest and doing basic physiological things like breathing and thinking about my dog Pearl, my body will burn around 2,000 calories a day. Where the brownies at? Last but not least is my VO2 max, which was 52. This is good because as you can see here, it puts my risk of cardiovascular disease lower. They give you an AI-generated body composition and a biological age, so now I guess I can tell everyone I'm 27. Anyway, shout out to Macy who is awesome and Dexafit Boston.